Hello friends, welcome back to my farmhouse sewing room. I'm Marne and thank you for watching my channel. So as many of you have probably already saw my recent upload of my uh, sewing room and quilting room farmhouse tour, um, I have another little um, bonus video for you. Um, today I want to show you my portable sewing room. <laughs> and I know it sounds crazy. What is a portable sewing room? A sewing room, a portable sewing room is a sewing room on the go. Like if you go to a guild like I do, I usually go on Wednesdays uh, every week. We're just starting back up tomorrow. So um, I've got my portable sewing room all ready to go. But these are great for retreats, um, getaways, vacations, um, when you're going to a friend's house, whatever, you know. I mean, it's a sewing machine, a uh, sewing room <laughs> on the go. So anyway, today I'm going to give you a visual tour of my portable sewing room. This is um, my portable sewing room all packed up into a little case here. Um, these cases are very efficient. Um, mine came from Walmart. Um, you can get these at Joann's, Amazon, um, more expensive. Um, I just got a cheapie for 30 bucks at, at um, Walmart and it works for me. Um, it has this portable little handle that I can rise up and it has wheels so I can tilt it back just like luggage, you know, at an airport and you can just haul it behind you. So it's, it makes it very convenient and easy for me. So I don't have to carry a ton of bags or, um, I know my mom and some of my mom's friends, they have, you know, carrying cases for your sewing machine and they have bags for their different stuff, their projects or whatever. This thing holds everything. So it, it's really unique. So I'm gonna give you a peek inside. Uh, it's Velcro down, huh? And it has zippers. Everything tucks perfectly into this. So um, on my lid, I, you can see I've got these little zip pockets. I have um, different colors of threads in here, which is great. Um, in this larger pocket, I have a set of pins um scissors um tape the quarter inch seam tape um i like to keep i got that on amazon it works great for quarter inch seams you know on any machine if you need to find your the right seam allowance um i have a rotary cutter in here some hand sewing needles and this little measuring stick here is actually a uh fingernail file because i <laughs> find i need those all the time so that is just really great so this is just part of the top of the lid I'm going to put this handle down and so I can tip this back and I can really show you what else we have here. It also has these little side pockets, which are great for um, putting different things in too, which I will get on to show you. So these front zippers drop down and this literally holds everything that I need. So you can see it has these little straps in here that, um, that hold my sewing machine. Um, I use my... <clears throat> My Janome is my machine that I usually take with me. I have another machine. It's a Janome Gem. I didn't show you that on the video tour. Um, it is like a three quarter inch sewing machine and I usually take that with me, but that one needs to go to the shop because it needs a little um, tune up. So um, I have that tucked away and I'll get that tuned up and maybe I'll show it to you sometime. So in here, I have everything conveniently um, compacted into this, this little case. So I have my... Um, spray mister bottle that I like to use. Um, I have my portable little um, thread catcher. I made this. It's just rice in the, the top square and it weights down on the table and it has the little hinge and I can drop my threads in there and it makes it really convenient for a waste basket. Um, I have a little um, tool bag here and I will kind of show you what I have in here. And let me just drop you down so I can put you on the table here so you can kind of see a little bit better. So I got my little tool bag here. I made this. This was a project that I did with one of my friends that comes here and sews with me every week. And we did, I've been teaching her how to, you know, freestyle some different things. And this is one of the projects that we made. So um, in here, I keep, you know, my white thread, um, a little Creative Grids ruler. Thank you, Lynn, for this. Um, this was awesome. I haven't opened it yet, but I put it in my little bag because I will use it a lot. Um, I have a seam gauge, um, tweezers. I love these kind of tweezers because these have this little, um, bendable, well, they're bent kind of, you know, so they make things like little fingers to really, you know, put thread needles and different things. And this is the only set I have in my sewing room. So 
me and my husband fight over these when we're doing the quilting machine because if I'm sewing or he's helping me quilt, we use these things a lot for different, different reasons. So, um, let's see. I keep my nips. I love these things. These are my favorite ones, the metal ones, and I really need to get invest in getting some more of those. Um, I keep a little brush to keep the lint off my needles in my, in my bobbin case. Seam ripper. Always got to have a seam ripper because there's always a time when you got to come and seam rip. A um, couple safety pins, extra filled up bobbins that I keep in here as well. And I have these little bands on them that help them from keeping um, getting unraveled. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I have to grab a tissue. I still have... Uh, Sorry, I'm still getting over this this cold and sickness. So uh, I have a problem with running nose. So this is my little um little case that I have. So I'm gonna slip these back in here and we'll go on to the next thing. So I have a nice little Velcro strap in here that has, um keeps my sewing machine in place when you travel. Um, I told you all in my tour that I have a, a little Aliso iron. This is the mini iron and this little gem heats up very hot very quickly and it has this little silicone plate that you can kind of set it on um, to, when you want to use it but I don't you know leave it on all the time on that little hot plate because it does get really hot so you have to kind of turn it down or shut it off when you're not going to use it right away but it heats up in like 25 seconds. This thing is a great little investment that I've invested in. So I have my Janome Gem machine in here. And then the side here, I have um, a little rotary mat. It's the one that kind of rotates. That's something my mom gave me. I have an extra um, clear square ruler in here that I keep tucked in. I also have my little creative grids. So you can tuck a lot of things into these little side pockets. My cord for my machine is in this little inside side pocket and then the outside pocket, I have my foot pedal for my machine in, in, in there. So um, I have that little pocket. On this other side pocket, I do have an extra um, container of clips, which I have a lot of these and some of them in little tins here in my sewing room. These are great, but I, I also like to use pins too. So I kind of, some projects, these are handy. Other projects, I, you know, strictly use pins. And I do like the pins, uh, a lot of my pins that I have, like these ones in here. I like the pins with the large heads because these, I don't, I don't prick my fingers. They're, they have something that's easier to grab if it has a big head on it for me. So that makes life a lot easier when I'm single-handed. <laughs> so anyway, so in the back part here, I have my own little design board. Um, I learned these from Lori Holt. This is just a piece of um, uh, foam cardboard. I got it at the Dollar Tree and I just um, hot glued a piece of flannel on it and the flannel helps hold cotton squares or when I'm piecing stuff together, these make it great to um, kind of lay out your design, you know, when you're ready to sew. And this is a great thing. This is a portable ironing board. And my husband actually cut a piece of board to fit directly into this little zip pocket here on my, my little carrying case here. And I just um, put some um, cotton batting on it and a pretty piece of fabric and stapled it on onto the back. And this makes a really nice ironing board. And as you can see, my little thread catcher really matches to go with it. <laughs> And my, my my pretty little yellow <laughs> Lisa iron just, I don't know. It makes it all nice and matchy-matchy, but I really, really like this. So this is a great, great tool for a portable sewing room. And I'm gonna slide all this stuff back in here. And I will show you just how I pack everything in here and make it really easy. These things go in on the side. And everything is really nice and tight. And, Packed it in here. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm still sounding hoarse. What else do I have in here? Hmm, anything? Oh, another pair of tweezers. <laughs> I got all kinds of gadgets tucked into this thing that you tend to forget about, but it's nice to have when you need it. So I am going to just kind of 
pack everything back in here. Um, my Aliso iron fits nicely into the throat of my machine. My little bag I can tuck right in there. Um, these little straps, that one comes down and this one comes up over. And I tuck that in there. I kind of fit my spray bottle in here. Oh, I forgot to put my design board back down in here. So that will fit. doesn't fit into the pocket, but it fits in between the pocket and the back of my machine so I can slide it right in there. And then, of course, my little um, thread catcher. Um, this doesn't have any interfacing in it. It's just cotton, so it makes it really easy to just kind of fold it up. Um, and, and it's flimsy. I did interface around the top, so it makes it a little stiff to keep it open. But I like the way that it, I can fold it up and compact it right back into my bag. And this I can just kind of slide in between and tuck it in there. And then um, fold up the sides, drop down the top, Velcro it, and zip it down. And that, my friends, is a portable sewing room. So I hope this has inspired you to go out and get your own little uh, carry-all for your portable sewing room, okay? Thank you for watching. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe and maybe check out some of my other videos. I have a lot to share. So I'm hoping that you'll come back soon. I will talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.